Hey, we're going over all of the Smash Bros. stages. I'll put one stage in NA because I have not bought the DLC for Smash Bros. I will eventually, but I'm just going to wait until the new character, until more of the characters get revealed. I will still buy it, but I'm just going to wait so I can get all the characters easy, so I can get all the, so I don't have to wait. You know, my, the next DLC might just be five more Fire Emblem characters for all we know. So the ARMS stage, because I hate ARMS. You know, I have not played on it, so I can't really tell you if the stage is good or not. We'll be in the NATL. So there we go. We have the best Smash Bros. TOs. And again, I play on casual. I don't play competitive at all. I only play casual with items on. So my skew of tiers and stages are always going to be different than there. I think people, I think somebody do enough Smash Bros. tiers. Yeah, so you guys never treat it pro and my tiers. Because I'm not, I'm not a no pro at Smash Bros. I suck at the game. You know, I I struggle with level 9 CPUs. Versus Battlefield. Battlefield is a very, very well balanced stage. But the thing is, there aren't really anything unique about Battlefield. And I know a lot of people say it's the best stage in the game. But yeah, there isn't really a thing. But it's still really great stage. It's still a very fun stage. But is isn't really... It's, you know, the background's pretty amazing in the stage. Probably one of the better backgrounds in Battlefield history. The only one that's probably better, I f no, okay, I don't think there's any background in, for Battlefield that's better than the Smash Ultimate version, because I like the Waterfalls. Next is Mario Bros. It's the Mario stage from, I forgot what this is called, I think it's Mushroom Kingdom, yeah, DTL. Not really good stage, it's, the Melee stage, I would, I would have it higher because of the nostalgia towards the Melee stages, but the, this is like the, yeah, this stage is not that great. The walk-offs, you know, could put for some easy kills, even if you're playing as a high-level player. There wasn't really anything. The retro theme was cool, which keeps it out of FTL. Next is New Donk City. New Donk City is a pretty decent stage, a CTL. It's not my favorite stage in the world. Same thing with the Zelda stage, Hyrule Breath of the Wild stage. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say, I'm not, I don't remember these stages. Yeah, let's call them Breath of the Wild stage. This stage, it has this giant destructible thing in the middle. But yeah, the background's cool, so it's BTL. Moray Towers, I remember this stage. This stage is pretty fun. I like the how the stage dynamically goes down and up. ATL. Dracula's Castle. Well, there's, there was a possibility of bosses and enemies spawn up, which makes the matches, especially on K8 player, much more chaotic. And I like those chaotic type matches when the, when the veins appear. So, I'm going to put in BTL. This is a favorite of mine when I was like, I mean, this is another stage I like. For Melee, not my favorite stage, but yeah, this is a one of the middle Melee stage. It's pretty fun, especially with the board bill and all that stuff. I'm going to put it in ATL. This is like, this is probably like one of the few good traveling stages. I always like this stage. It's a pretty fun and interesting and unique stage. I feel like they did it way too much in rated stages, but this stage is still pretty fun. It's a classic for Melee, so of course. And of course, I have, May I have bias towards, you know, Melee stages because that's the game. And, you know, you know, that's the game I played and brawl a bit as well. Next is the King of Fighters stage. This stage is pretty unique, but it's not my favorite. It's pretty hard to KO. I know that's the whole point of the stage, but I'm going to put it in DTL. Next is the Fire Emblem stage. It's okay. It's CTL. Mementos. Uh, I'm going to put it in BTL. It's a pretty fun and, and unique stage. Uh, is it bad, better than... I actually going to put it in the order, so... Boy, A Towers is going. It's Battlefield is, is be, almost ATL. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the way it is. Going, we and yeah, this stage is better than the Mario Bros. stage from Smash 64. Next is Spiral Mountain. This stage is actually quite great. Well, I like how the stage turns and twists. It's pretty fun. It's a pretty great stage. Even though I'm I'm not like the biggest fan of Banjo Kazooie, it's a pretty fun stage. I think it's better than Mementos. Next stage is the Dragon Quest stage. Yeah, it's just not my favorite stage. Not really a fan of Dragon Quest. I'm going to put it in CTO. I think it's better than the Fire Emblem stage. This is this is a this stage has DK Rap, of course. But now DK Rap can be applied to any, but this is a fan this is a classic for Melee. I'm not, I think it's better I think it's better than Moe Towers. Not yeah, it's on the cuffs of being F STO. It is on the cuffs of being an STO stage. Like Battlefield. Next is this stage. Oh god, this stage. This stage goes in DTO. This stage is just not fun to play on. 
I like to point out. I like to point out when I was a kid, but I realized how bad the stage really is. It's probably one of the worst melee stages of all time. Melee is a pretty great game, you know, but Jungle Japes is just not fun to play on. You know, it's not put. It's not a fun stage to play on. The, the platforms are really small, especially it's pretty bad for eight players masses. And yeah, it goes in detail. Next stage is Temple Bay. It's get it's pretty decent. I like how the moon gets closer and closer, but it's not my favorite stage. Temple go first stage goes in F S T L. There's no questioning. That's a classic. I actually made two temple. I, I I even I myself made two temple clones myself on stage builder and a few more. But again, every stage that try to copy Temple, except for my stages, are like pretty garbage. They're pretty trash, you know. But yeah, next is of course Sprint Style. That's okay, not the best stage in the world. I, I think it's yeah, it's better than the Fire Emblem stage. Yoshi's Island, another classic, Mary Quest. I can put it in row eight here. It's pretty fun, even though there is a walk off. I always love this stage. It is pretty unique, you know. You know, pretty unique, pretty fun, pretty cool, interesting stage. Yoshi's Story, that's that goes up here. Yoshi's Story is an amazing stage. A tier. Big Battlefield, well, it's just Big Battlefield. It goes, it's basically Battlefield designed for more chaotic minds. So I'm going to put it in row A tier. Next is, of course, Fountain of Dreams. This is another classic. It goes in S tier. I think this is one, this is probably, it has, it's one, has some of my favorite graphics of any stages. Out of all the stages, I think this probably has like the most beautiful looking textures. Yeah, when you definitely compare it to the melee version, you know, same thing with the with Congo Jungle, Dream Dream Green Greens. Nah, CTO. I like this stage as a kid, but it's not really that great. The bombs are just a big distraction, really. Cornelia also goes in STL. Cornelia is an amazing stage. It does keep getting smaller with every game, but I, I which I don't know why they're doing it. But still, but again, it's probably because melee, probably character models and size just keep changing, so the stage size just changes. Next is Venom, that's an inferior version of Cornelia. But in, it's 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 okay. It's it go it, yeah, it has its perks, but it's just not really interesting stage. You can fall off easily if you don't know what to do. Pokemon Stadium One, of course, another classic, goes STL on it. The cow and stuff is pretty interesting, but yeah, it's, this stage is not that great. Then, well, it's it's a pretty unique stage. You know, it's a pretty unique and fun stage, but it's not really the best. Mario, bro, Mario 2. Why did they bring back this stage over Mario 1? No one had the answer. The stage is not good. Detail. This is another stage I really like. This is the spin the wheel. That's what I call it. It's a pretty great stage. You know... Pretty great stage. It's a pretty fun and entertaining stage. Of course, they play competitive. We'll never understand the greatness of this stage, but you know, but of course, us casuals know that this is one of the you know funnest stages. Next is Big Boo. Big Boo is okay. It's not my favorite stage. You ba it's basically a moving stage, but you can fall off pretty easily. I'm gonna put it in detail. It's not detail. I think it's better than King of. It's worse than King of Fighters Stadium. And no, it's worse. It's probably the worst stage we're getting so far. Four side also not that great. Four side gonna make it worse than the Fire Emblem stage. Final Destination, of course, goes in S tier. Final Destination is basically the basically the the and also I always like in the Final Destinations ever since Brawl always had this this epic thing going on in the background. Yeah, it's just fine. It's just a flat. It's just a stage with nothing on it. But <laughs> it's just an epic stage. The stage is meant to be the final destination. It's it's a it's a masterpiece of a stage. It's not as good. It's, I'm gonna put an S tier right next to Temple. It's not as good as Temple. It's not as you know, there. But yep, there we go. Delfino Plaza. It's C tier. Not as fun as F Zero for not for as Mute City. So yeah, you know. F zero. Uh this stage FTO. Most of me kingdom for stage to get FTO. It's garbage. Don't have to explain that. It's garbage. Don't just don't play on it. Mario Circuit. 
I'm going to put it in high B tier. It's pretty fun. The cows make it more chaotic. Wario, wow, wow, that, that stage is amazing. Goes in S tier. The mi micro games are pretty fun. Pretty fun edition. It basically makes a competition if you're playing casual. And, and I like, it's, it's, just, it's just always been one of the best stages is in, in the Smash 4 universe. You know, you know, it's a pretty amazing stage. I think it's, you know, and, you know, some people think this is not that great because of the micro games. I think the micro games make the stage better because it adds basically a competition to the stage who wins it. And yes, you don't like it because it gives you awards, but again, that's the whole point of completing them is to get awards. So yeah, STL. Next is Bridge of Elden. Pretty good stage. The stage is pretty dynamic or the displays will split in half. Put it, uh, yeah, it's better than Peter's Castle, ATL. Norfell, put it in World Detail. It's not a good stage at all. It's it's not it's probably the worst metro stage of all time. Probably in history. You know. And yeah. Next is Frigate Orphan. You know, figure off in CTO. It's a decent stage. You know, it's a decent stage. It's not that great. It's not my favorite stage in the world. Next is Yoshi's Island. You know, Yoshi's Island is ATO. Of course. And it's not really an amazing. Okay, okay, okay. I will stop. I will actually continue with the video. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty good stage. It basically does a flat. But it's Yoshi. And Yoshi's amazing. So, yeah, <laughs> Yoshi's amazing. Next stage on here is Hellbird. Hellbird is okay. You go on to Hellbird and, yeah, you fight on top of it. And it's kind of like a repeat. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not. It's. I would, yeah, it's BTL. It's better than Venom. It's better than New Donk City and Temple Bay. Next is Wild Cruise. Wild Cruise is BTL. High BTL. It's pretty fun. But the stage is too small for like bigger battles. So, but again, I think that stage is meant for small battles. Next is Pizza's Castle 64. Not really a good stage, so it goes CTL. It's not. It's, it's just, this is like the worst version of Pizza's Castle, I think. Yeah, the melee version is much, much better. Then Peter's Castle 464. The Melee version basically improved on the 64 version. Next is Pokemon Stadium 2. Just like Pokemon Stadium 1, it's pretty. I'm gonna tie it with Pokemon Stadium 1. Very much mostly the same, but with new types and new dynamics. I like the form changes, they're pretty unique and interesting, so STO. Next is Port Town Arrow Drive, FTO. Moving on. Uh, this is Castle Seeds. Castle Seeds is pretty interesting. I like how it transfers, but it never really transfers back. But the first part is really small anyways. The second part is just a open area. Uh, is it better than Brinstyle? No, it's not. It's not better than Brinstyle. This in Planet, I like the- I have bias towards Pikmin series. This stage is pretty great. You know, the ball warp, and it's just really- It's also one- it's also, yeah, it's BTL. This in Planet is good. Next is Smashville. Smashville is pretty good. It's ATO. It has the Animal Crossing theme going for it. for the high ATO. Next is New Pork City. New Pork City, I think, goes in World ETO. Not the worst stage, or definitely worst big stages in New Pork City. Summit, FTO. No, no, it goes in DTO. It goes World DTO as well. Not good stage. Skyworld, well, if you turn off hazards, this stage is way chaotic with the hazards on because you can break the platforms. And it's pretty fun when that happens because it, you know, may adds more challenge to the stage. So yeah, it's a pretty good hectic stage. This stage, it's garbage without hazards on. Without hazards, without hazards on. But with hazards on, it's another pretty good chaotic stage. You break the sides of the stage. It's not my favorite stage in the world, so I'm going to put it in high, well, mid-tier with that stage. Next is Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion is another great destroyable stage. It's actually the first stage you can totally destroy. And I like that over in interactivity with my stages, so I'm going to put it in high ATL above Battlefield. 
Next is Congo Jungle 64. I think Congo Jungle 64 is way better than Jungle Tapes. It's way more fun. It's way more interesting. It's way more, you know, good. It's definitely way better than Jungle Japes. So I, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it around the same tier as Congo Jungle. Next is Temple. No, not Temple. Next is the C stage. The C stage, of course. This is the Wind Waker stage. This goes uh, it goes in little B tier. Next is Spear Pillar. Well, this stage is very annoying. <laughs> it's very very annoying with Porky the Ogre. It does add to the chaotic feel. It does add the chaos where you find really on the red with the legendaries. But unlike other stages, it's just the chaos chaos on this stage is just not fun. And yeah, that's the pain problem with many ball stages. Especially when Palkia flips the screen, it's just bull crap. This stage FTO. FTO. Okay. John 75M, pretty annoying stage. It's a guilty pleasure of mine with Cannonbow. I, I hate the stage, but I just have a guilty pleasure playing it, so I'll put it up here. Mario Bros. is unplayable. Also, Han and Bo, of course, goes down here as well. Okay, Port Town Arrow Drive is better than... Port Town Arrow Drive is between here. Port Town Arrow Drive is even worse than Mute City. Mute City is a classic, but this is like the... Why do they keep bringing down Port Town Arrow Drive, but they keep removing Mute City? It's just, why does that... doesn't make any sense to me. Next is 3D... The 3D Land stage. It's it's actually a pretty good stage. I like this stage. I was playing it on the 3DS, so it was a pretty good traveling stage. I'm going to put it in mid-A tier. Around that area, road to mid ATO. Next is Mario Bros. 2. Kind of like the other Mario World games, this kind of stage kind of rewards you the dark, pretty good 3DS stages. I'm going to put it in the bottom of ATO. I like the whole coin aspect. Paper Mario, the fact that they made a stage based off Paper Mario, but the problem is it's mostly based off sticker style, but the stage is still pretty fun. It does put you in Paper Mario, uh, Fire Paper Mario sticker style. And also, finally, Paper Mario gets a stage. So I'm gonna put it in row ATL. Paper Mario finally gets a stage. Next is Gerudo Temple. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's not my favorite stage. Next is Hyrule Castle 64. Again, the stage is okay. It's not, it's the, the, there's a better Hyrule Zelda stage. It's called Temple. Let's play on that one instead. Spirit Tracks, play fun, small chaotic stage. It goes in B tier. High B-tail, okay, okay, I didn't mean to move. Great Bay, oh, this stage is called Great Bay. Great Bay goes here. Okay, Great Bay is better than I thought it was. It goes up here. It's better than Spear Pillow. Yeah, and, okay, Great, Great Bay was up here. No, 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 Dreamland, I love this, I actually like this stage. I don't really like moving stages that much, but this stage is great. To put it up here. It's just, a, it's just like how it's just a reference to older Kirby games. Simple as that. Next is the black and white version of Spear Pillar. Definitely much better than Spear Pillar. Definitely much more balanced than Spear I think they, I think Smash 4 they really made the stages much better than Brawl. Prism Tower. Or no, Carol's Tower. That's like a court. This stage goes in, well, it goes in mid C tier. It's basically New Donk City, but Pokemon theme. You know, Mute City. This, this, is, the, this is the SNES one. I like the graphics for the stage, but it's not good. DTO. Green Hill Zone. I'm surprised this isn't this has Green Hill Zone is uh, it goes in A tier. It's pretty fun. Sonic is pretty great. And it's A tier stage. And I kinda can destroy parts of stage to Magic Cat. This stage is bull crap. Hate Flying Man, FTO. That Flying Man ruins the whole stage, okay? Okay, okay, it's not that bad. It go it goes in well at D tier, because it goes with Norfell. This stage is pretty fun. This is the the stage where it changes randomly. This stage is kind of like Pokemon Stadium, but it's Fire Emblem. It goes with Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, STL. Next is the Kid Icarus stage. I don't really like the stage. Never really did. It's okay. Next is Tortimer Island. Tortimer Island is a pretty fun and peaceful stage. And yeah, basically, yeah, I like the whole theme of the stage. I like the whole island theme of the stage, so... This stage also not that great. No, 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 it is one of the many attempts to make a retro game into a stage. Next is Super Happy Tree. That's what the stage is called. This stage is okay. Goes here. The crowds are very, very, very bad for camping. Okay, that goes below the C stage. Next is in Ten Dogs. And Ten Dogs is a pretty annoying stage. It, the buildings just come down. But yeah, you can adapt to the buildings. It's kind of like blocks coming down. Find me. I'm gonna put Find Me in C tier. It's okay. 
the the giant monsters are pretty pain. Tanahashi Life is basically like Luigi's Mansion, but you can't destroy it. Go put it up with Luigi's Mansion. But you can't destroy it, so it's worse than it's worse than all the battlefields too. I'm gonna put it between the Kraid stage and the Kirby stage. And yeah, that's up to the done with the 3DS stages. Okay, we're gonna do the Wii U stages now, which is the rest of them and small battlefield. Pato Chat 2. Uh it's a pretty fun and chaotic stage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it with Mario. It's kind of like the it's kind of like the the Pixel Chat was pretty fun. It's this kind of like Pokemon Stadium as well. Pokemon Stadium, this is like this is like Pokemon Stadium and it has draw stuff as well. Next is Mario Bros. U pretty bland and boring stage. It goes in the middle. It, or it does change over time. It does add to the chaos a bit. So it goes Yeah, it's it's high CTL. Mario Galaxy, uh this stage is very disappointing. I can put it it's still pretty fun, but it's pretty disappointing. You can put it with oh, BTL. Mario, Mario, the Mario Kart 8 stage. That goes in BTL. Pretty fun stage. Skyloft is pretty fun traveling stage. I can put it with El Delfino, with Del the Delfino Plaza stage. And, where did I put Delfino Plaza? Where did I put that stage? I think that stage, this stage is on par with, that, with Delfino Plaza. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Delfino Plaza. Put it with Dale. For great game offensive, worst stage in the entire game. Every, even my, every time I get, I make sure we, we don't ever pick this stage. This stage is garbage. This stage is garbage. <laughs> okay. Pokemon stage. This is the Carol's Pokemon week. Not as good as the other ones. But still a pretty unique stage. But it's not as good as Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 in Picto Chat. And... Arena Ferox, where they just transform the stage or just add things that will basically, yeah, horrible stages for competitive accounts. So this is Dream Green Green Dream Land from N64. I'm gonna put it in high A tier to play fun, to play unique stages. This is the Arena stage. It's not that great. High D tier. Garen Watch 2. A lot of people hate this stage, but I think the stage is pretty fun. Put in well B tier. B tier. Next is Power Tanner's Temple. Power Tanner's Temple is also garbage. Goes in the top of a F tier. Gamer, not good either. Gamer is not good stage. Yeah, D tier. Whoa, D tier. The Pikmin Free stage. I like this stage. This stage is pretty good. Pikmin Free is a great, great game. And the stage is based off. Put it in mid C tier. Between the Donkey Kong stage and the Splatoon stage. Next is. This base stage is basically Smashville. Town and City. I'm gonna put it with Smashville. Where do I put Smashville? Yeah, I know this stage and Smashville are practically the same stage. So I'll find yeah, Smashville is up here. It goes by Smashville. Since they're practically the same stage. But had one has both platform. We fit DTL. Not good. Oh yeah, this is this is STO. This is instant STO. Even though it just had it had sides, this is basically a uh, arena. This is basically an arena. This is kind of this goes up with Final Destination and Temple. This is a classic that I think will stay in future Smash Bros. Because this this is literally a boxing arena that you fight in in Smash Bros. It's it's a state this is it's a stage that was meant for Smash Bros. I know I don't like walk offs, but this is a stage that was meant for Smash Bros. Okay, arena is the best stage. It's like the Final Destination. For casuals, basically, Gal Pain are also not good. Duck Hunt, really fun stage. I like it. You know, put in row ATL. Next is the Pokemon one. This is not a good stage. This stage is AIDS very, very poor. Saffron City, AIDS very, very poor. We're gonna put it in row high DTL. Next is this stage. This is the. Yeah, this stage also goes in D. Oh, this stage is pretty fun. Put in CTL. Pretty fun. Next is Pilot Wings. Pilot Wings is pretty fun. BTL. Woohoo Islands are basically a much better version of Pirate Wings. Much better version of that stage. Gotta put it on par with Spirit Tracks. Next is Windy Hill Zone. Windy Hill Zone's a pretty good big stage. It's pretty balanced for a big stage, so I'm gonna put it in A. Well, BTO. High BTO, not well BTO. Yo. Wiley Castle, Yellow Devil. Really annoying. Hate him. He's very annoying. DTL. 
Pack rant, pack mate, pack rant, garbage, zero out of ten. Mario Maker, I like how the stage changes every single time. The fact that this is basically stage where you have to predict what's going on, basically, this entire stage. I'm going to put it in high A tier next to Luigi's Manson. Next is the castle stage from the Wii U. It's pretty fun. It's it's one of, it's a pretty underrated stage. Go and put in World A tier as well. Next is the Final Fantasy stage. Goes in C tier, not my favorite stage. The Bayonetta stage also goes in C tier. It's just a very boring. I'm not really a fan, big fan of Bayonetta. Never played Bayonetta before. Goes in C tier. Small Battlefield goes up a Battlefield. Basically, Battlefield, you know, just smaller. Goes up a Battlefield. And there you go. That's my Smash Bros. stage tier. S tier are my absolute favorite stages, of course. Okay, I'll drop a Wii Felix to A tier. It's not really deserving with Pokemon Stadium. But yeah, these are my S tier are my favorite stages, I think. As well. Yeah, this stage is. Yeah, put it here. Okay, I'll put Arena Felix back in S tier. Still, it was still pretty fun for the 3DS. A tier are still extremely good stages that I pick every often. Besides custom stages. They're all pretty balanced stages that are not boring or uninteresting. B tier is the okay stages, the average stages. C tier is a. No, C tier. No, B tier is good. It, they're good tier. They're good tier. C tier is average. D tier is just bad. And F tier is like completely awful. Just don't ever play on these stages. Don't ever pick these stages. It's really the like really awful stages style of ball. You know, the worst melee got was Jungle Japes <laughs> and Mario Bros. 2. And then Pro Smash and Smash Bros. for 3DS, it's worst stage. Obviously, is this <laughs> awful stage here. The Earthbound stage they made for the 3DS. <laughs> with annoying Fly Man that, you know, basically counts as a set with fighters. Not, you know, Fly Man sort of made it being made an assist trophy instead of an actual fighter that you actually have to fight and KO yourself. But, yep, there you go. That's the actual stages, you know. I think the stage, yeah, and Smash 64 also has a few stages that kind of aged poorly. Saffron City is another one alongside Princess Peach's Castle. You know, and yep, that's basically it. Goodbye.